Hey everyone, this is Accounting Nightmare. Welcome to the stream. There we go. Got game audio now. Welcome back, Nolia. Welcome, Russ. Good to see you both. Hope you're both doing well. Well, this is my sixth stream of Ocarina of Time Reanimizer. <laughs> this is the same seed. We're still going on the same seed. Uh, I've, I'm pretty close to the end now, though. So to finish the seed, we need to get all six medallions from dungeons. We have three of those, but uh, two of the remaining ones won't take very long. Yeah, so I have to get all six, and then I have to go in to Ganon's Tower and do all that stuff. We made some pretty big progress last time. We found some boss keys which we needed. So there's only actually one item left that I need, I think. Yeah, I need to find the big key, the boss key for Spirit Temple, and then I should be able to finish this, hopefully. Yeah, I'm hoping we can finish this today. I wasn't expecting this to be a, a six-stream monster when I started playing this, but uh, that's how it turned out. <laughs> uh, right, so let's go... Let's go finish the Forest Temple first. What was the Forest Temple song? Forests. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, walk to the Lost Woods. So we did pretty much all of the Forest Temple. I, I just couldn't get into the boss because we didn't have the boss key. And the cat has decided now is playtime. Excellent. Very good. Uh, hookshot. Mori. So we've got tons of equipment now. I nearly found all of the heart containers. <laughs> this has been quite an adventure. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I expect it takes so much time, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. So this elevator should be ready for us to use to go straight down the bottom. Yep. Excellent. Because I did most of this dungeon. We were looking for things. She just wants food, her love. <laughs> she always wants food. Always food. She would just eat until she actually couldn't eat anymore. And she would just actually keep eating somehow. Yeah, I don't think I finished solving this puzzle. Okay, I was right near the end of solving this puzzle, so that's pretty funny. We go fight the boss. If I can remember how, that's a good question. Can I remember how? Oh no, boss! So you use the bow, don't you? So I have to listen, don't I, to figure out which one, he, which painting he's actually coming from, because there's some fakes. That one. Sound design. It's good. I think it's this one? Yeah. They're in phase two. To play, reflect the thing at him. Have to relearn the timing for this. Ah, <laughs> oh. he got one hit on him. This is teaching you how to fight Ganon at the end. You have to reflect his things back at him. Sorry, Ganondorf. <laughs> He's Ganondorf when he's the man, and then he turns into Ganon, the big pig. Nice to laugh at you. What if I can just spam? This sword has such range on it. I'm going to spam it. 
poke it to death. Yes. That's usually how Legend of Zelda bosses work. <laughs> okay, no, I should not spam. Oh, time on this is tighter than I remember. Okay. Wow. Only lets me get one here. Jerk. Uh, I think I messed up there. I did a yeah. I should have done a jump attack. Hey. Hey, we got him finally. <laughs> There's one boss down. Several more to go in this uh, stream. Hey, Tag, welcome. Bum, bum. All right, what item you got for us? So it's possible he might be holding the big key. Nope. Okay. Fine. <laughs> now we'll go finish off Water Temple. Then I have, if, if Water Temple didn't have the uh, the big key for Spirit Temple, I need to go find that from somewhere. And that's that done. Forest Temple. Done. Hello. Deku Tree Sprout. Thanks a lot. No worries. Uh, what was the water? Aha, remembered. Yeah, we got yet another rupee. <laughs> you showed up just in time. Hey. Now into the water temple. Boots. Actually, I can dive in here without boots, can I? Like the gold scale. Oh. Oh. Go in there. There we go. See if we can avoid a menu. <laughs> You're watching a Rift Tracks movie. Ah, which one? I haven't rewatched really Rift Tracks, but that's, uh. It's where you, you play their audio over a movie, isn't it? And they make fun of it. I think. Something like that anyway. Okay, I think it's over here, isn't it? Where the boss is. Hmm, fairy. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that other fairy right away. Oh, I have three bottles worth of fairies. I think I'll be fine. I didn't grab the fairy either. Join me, fairy! I don't need you, but I want to say hi. Yay! We just have so many fairies. <laughs> oh yes, this room. Uh, I think we just have to run up. Yeah, no, no rolling. Just run. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Don't remember how to do this room. Toughest room. Oh, okay. Running sideways makes me slide down. Run sideways a little bit. Get a bit of speed. I remember being stuck in this room for a hilarious amount of time. <laughs> I kind of hook shot up to anything, you know. Oh, okay. I'm guessing the boots will make me just slide down. Because boots are heavy. This is a slope. Oh, you do slide on this one too, so... Oh, we nearly made it. Dang it. I thought that was going to work. Hey! Yeah. I don't know how you actually make it up there. 
Oh well, let's go fight the boss. Replace Navi. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could replace Navi. Get into the boss fight. This is Morpha. Yeah, I meant to not get hit by the gross thing. Here's its core. Now, I haven't done this strat before, but uh, I've seen people do it, and I don't know, I think you just kind of... Bam, hook shot. Now, this feels like it's taking a while, I think it's going to escape. Yeah. Alright, let's do it closer to a corner. Gross. Gross blob thing. Uh, hey, that went right through it. <laughs> That's not fair. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you can corner it and then it, it's supposed to escape from you and then you have to go through the, the phase again, but you can just kind of corner it and slash. That was pretty easy to do, actually. Replace Navi with ten other friendly and less annoying but super helpful fairies. <laughs> That would be nice. Right, two bosses in 15 minutes. Nice. So if this is not the uh, the boss key for Spirit Temple, I'm going to need to go check some other spots to find that key. Where's the item? There it is. Deku sticks. So many Deku sticks. Okay, well that's everything in Water Temple. I just need one more medallion now. That's a spirit temple medallion. Cool. This is this says I got the spirit medallion, but that's because the medallion's got all moved around. <laughs> I need to finish spirit temple. I guess that's how I should put it. Just need one more medallion. Okay. Uh, so there's an item I can get if I go back to the temple of time now. So I'll go do that. Because when you when you get certain medallions, then it triggers certain cutscenes at the temple of time. I think this has triggered the this has triggered the cutscene where you get the light arrows normally. I'll go see what this item is. Yeah, this is normally where you get the light arrows because you fin this you finish the last two dungeons and you get the light arrows. So that's that's what we just kind of we got the two medallions from the last dungeons in the uh, oh, purple ruby. Yes, yeah, Spirit Temple and Shadow Temple are the last two dungeons you complete normally in this game, and you get so you get the Spirit Medallion and the Shadow Medallion. So once you had both of those, then you get a cutscene here where you get the light arrows, and we got nothing useful instead. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so there's a there's a song I can get in Kakariko Village, which of course is something random now. Uh, okay, let's head over to Kakariko. There's a couple of things we can do there. There we go. I remember it ev eventually. Alright, so there's a grave I can go to in the graveyard that has... where I have to play the Sun Song. Which grave is that? Was it this grave? We'll find out. I did the first part of this one. This might be a different grave. I think I've been here. This is familiar. With the reeds everywhere. <laughs> run through the acid is fine. Who cares about acid? No, that's the Song of Storms. What was the Sun Song? Yeah, I don't think this is the right place, but I'll play this song anyway. Sun Song. 
that's a weird one. Okay, hang on. Need to look that up again. Do do. Oh, hang on. Do 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 do. Oh, okay. It's just the same three over and over. Never mind. It's not complicated. Not complicated at all. It's difficult for me. Yeah, this isn't the right place. It's somewhere here in the graveyard, though. I'll find it. Wait, isn't this the right place? Oh no, this is where you learn that song, isn't it? Because see, it's written there on the wall. In old N64 texture. Yeah, this is where you learn that song. I think I should play the lullaby here. Oh yeah. I'll check my tracker. This is the royal tomb. Yeah, okay. That's a different one. Oh. <laughs> And that's why it freezes all of these, uh, these re-deads. Uh-huh. Jerks. They deserve that. Replacing Navi with a poisonous butterfly that drains your health. It's better than Navi. <laughs> Poor Navi. <laughs> Doesn't mean to be so annoying, she just is. Which grave is it? I assume it's going to be one that stands out. This, this was a different grave. I've been in here, haven't I? Check it. Check the grave. Check all the graves. I've got to say it like the guys in StarCraft 2. Wow, you scared me. Yeah, I love the. I love how they say that. The SCVs. Ah, you scared me. No. Trying to find the right grave. None of them seem to be marked, do they? Check all the graves. Check them all. Is that a thing? Nope. Check them all. You need to play more StarCraft 2, but you're not very good. Yeah, StarCraft 2 is pretty tough, but it's fun anyway. Ah, this is the one. Eh. You can always set it to really easy and then just play around in the campaign or in the co-op mode. Oh, the co-op mode's so fun in that game. I don't want to feel like playing some of that, actually. Once I'm done with this. A huge ruby that I can't fit in my wallet. <laughs> First world problems. Or me. My wallet is so full, I can't fit this 200 rupees in it. What am I to do? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Kakariko Village where there is now a song waiting for me. So the medallions, you see my tracker has them uh, tracked by colour. And it's because they do, they trigger different events in the game. So the fire and water medallions, the, the red and blue ones, once I have both of those, and I think I also need the green one, the forest medallion, once I have all three of those, it triggers a cutscene here in Kakariko, because this is what this is how the game normally progresses. You do those three dungeons, and then you get the shadow temple dungeon, uh, shadow temple song. I have to, I have to enter from this direction, I think. It triggers a whole cutscene where Kakariko goes on fire and stuff. Bad. Cutscene. Cutscene skipped. There we go. And that's officially go mode. We can now finish the game. Nice. Alright, what was the Spirit Temple song? Spirit Temple. How, how, what does the game normally go in, actually? Do you, do you normally do Shadow before Spirit? I forget. Is Shadow Temple the last dungeon you do? Hmm, I forget what the normal order is. Okay. 
cult with you if you want. I refuse to play on low difficulties, normal or higher. I definitely reckon you should play on lower where you what you're getting used to the uh, the macro of StarCraft 2. You do really need to ramp up on that thing. You can play on normal though, I suppose. That wouldn't be that might be fine. Yeah, I'd, I'd play you. Uh, I'd play co-op with you if you wanted. In StarCraft 2. Yeah, I love playing StarCraft 2 co-op. Tons of fun. I set up for Raw's win point here, but I don't know if that's still here. I'd like to learn more about how this item works. Just a, okay, no, I think it, I think I've lost my save point. Yeah, you leave, you leave a point, and then you can return there later in a dungeon. That's right, though. I just have to go up this elevator. So I guess it gets lost if you go into a different dungeon. Maybe that's how it works. Hmm. That's good if you if you're having a good time on normal, then you should be fine with co-op on normal then. Yeah, the co-op mode is not really. It's based on a certain point later in the co in the uh, storyline, but it's not really an important part of the storyline. It's just one-off missions that you do as whatever character you want. Okay, I need to go up here. I'm getting long shot range. Yeah, yeah, I'll totally play co-op with you. Okay, long shot. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've friended you on Battle.net, have I? Yeah, I, I should send you my battle tag. Then we can play some StarCraft 2 co-op. Rory! Boss time! Okay, this boss. Oh, that's, that's right, we have to fight a Dark Nut first. Let me fight the actual boss. Drrr! Stab. Stab you. Stab you in the knee. Now, oh. Turns out you like your knees. You want to protect them. But I want to stab them. So we've added a bit of... We're at odds here, unfortunately. Stab. <laughs> Hooked in the knee. Mmm, hearts. Now onto the actual boss fight. Uh, so I haven't done this boss fight on N64. I've only done it on the 3DS. They made it. I think they made it easy on 3DS. Oh hey, they're already active. Hang on, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Just, just wait, just a second. Okay, I'm here. So I think they made this easy on 3DS because they made it easier to like lock onto to one of them to hit them with the thing. No, this this feels similar actually. Maybe they didn't change it. This is Twin Rover. The, they're twin sisters, but they use different elements. One does fire, one does ice. Where's the other one? He's in a bad spot. So you have to reflect the elements into each other. Reflect ice into fire and fire into ice. Using your mirror shield. So you need the mirror shield to do this. Couldn't quite get it. Okay, this might be good. Oh, oh there we go, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so we do that a bunch of times. Oh no, she's moving. Dodge this. Is this gonna get? This might hit me in the side. Oh no, she's moving in the right spot. Aha, uh -huh. nice. <clears throat> hey, Finnesota, welcome. Oh, bad spots. Can't deflect in that direction. And uh, where's the other one? Oh, she's in a bad spot. Maybe I should stand over here. Maybe this will be better to try and catch them both. Oh, hey. I wasn't ready. Oh, that was close. 
Nearly got it. <laughs> right above me. Aha! How many times do we have to do this? Probably like six. Give me the ice. Song of fire and ice. Oh, oh, okay. Couldn't get that right. I tried to deflect it up, but he didn't want to go up. Oh, you're in a bad spot. Ah, oh, you jerk. Oh my god, they keep going right above me. And that she she changed her mind and she went and got hit. Very nice. Alright, phase two. Double dynamite attack. They fuse together and for some reason. Now they look younger? Hmm. They do lots of attacks from one source. So you kind of want to, you, you absorb attacks with your shield and it kind of powers up your shield until you do a big counter attack automatically. So you want to absorb the same element over and over. Ice, ice, give me ice again. And then it automatically does a blast. Ah, <laughs> that's tough. Got one hit on him. This boss was lacking in everything. <laughs> yeah, actually. This is pretty much just playing around with mirror shield, this boss. Just like, hey, here's what the mirror shield can do. <laughs> Another ice. And go. I think I need to roll first. Hey, she did. We did it. And the sisters are now actually dead. They have a bit of a rant first. They argue with each other, but that's all been cut out, and they have halos over the they have halos over the head, and they're gone. <laughs> Link killed them. <laughs> There he is. What my heart container, thank you. Whatever it is, actually. It's a heart container, okay. Oh my god, I nearly found all the heart containers. I nearly have them all. It reminds me of Glass Agnes in DMC4, yes! <laughs> it reminds me of uh, that, um, that news boss from DMC Reboot. It's just doing the thing over and over until you win. Alright, that spirit temple finished. Alright, we have all the medallions. We can go into Ganon's castle. And go do the final stuff so we can beat the game. Ba, 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 ba. See how close we were to just finishing all those dungeons? Just needed those boss keys. Oops, sorry. Hit my mic. I keep accidentally hitting my, hitting my mic, but I don't know if there's a better place I can put it. I don't think there is. I can, I can put it here, but that covers up this monitor, which, which is where I see chat. So to be more careful. We've got the six medallions, and now we can go into Ganon's castle and go fight Ganon. Woo! We have to do a bunch of stuff in there firstly. <clears throat> and because we've got the six medallions, we've freed, we've awakened the six sages who can help. I forget where the sages actually came from in the in the lore. I don't know if they ever explain that, but there's they're, just sages. Uh, as the generations go by, there's new sages that you can awaken, and uh, it's just something that's kind of passed down through time. 
and they're sometimes the key to stopping evil, like Ganon. They don't realise they're sages, you have to awaken them. Which you do throughout this game, but we don't really see that because cutscenes are gone. Ah, no worries, Magnolia. Yeah, they made that special bridge so we can come in here. Okay, so this part, this is the Ganon's Trials part, where there's like these six side rooms we have to go do puzzles in. Uh, you can turn this off in the randomizer, so you don't have to do this every time, but I forgot to, so I have to do all these trials. That's okay, I haven't done these for a while, so I don't mind trying to remember what to do here. So we have a bunch of puzzles to solve now. Yeah. Oh, you didn't die. How dare you. There you go, get out of here. You're not welcome. Speaking of not welcome, look at all these spikes. Silver rupee puzzle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that sometimes from Christmas 2 tag. You never knew what, uh, if the box had what it said in it, because uh, sometimes there were random boxes you would use to, to put other gifts in, make them easier to wrap. Yeah, I remember, I remember that too. Me. I think for this one we're supposed to move this statue. There we go. Grab it. And the other one is over here. Same puzzle. I'm probably going to get... Oh, uh, actually this will be easier if I do it this way. I'm probably going to get hit by another spike while I'm moving this around. Yeah, the, random, the randomized items reminds you of that. Yeah, it reminds me of that too, now that you mention it. It was a hard container, but what is, what is it actually? What's in the box? Oh. <laughs> Link lost his legs. I don't need whatever's in here, but I'm going to grab it anyway, because I have an addiction to opening chests now. I think this is a spirit trial. Okay. Oh, that's right, this is where you actually need bomb shoes. This is like the one spot in the game where you need bomb shoes. I have 44 bomb shoes. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, because they give you bomb shoes in this chest normally. Uh, wouldn't let me do first person perspective. How rude. Well, I like myself. Looks okay. Go, my precious bomb shoe. See the world. Try again. Sometimes their path can be a bit random, so it might hit this time. Nope, okay. Move over slightly. Ow. Bloody bomb shoe. Yay! Got the switch. Choose! Yeah. <laughs> Christmas for you was getting excited about the box and then sneaking out at midnight to go to your circus friend's house. <laughs> that sounds fun. What's going on in this room? Alright, we're supposed to have light arrows by now, so... This is where we start using the light arrows! So I guess we have to hit one of these. That doesn't count. Confused. I assume there's meant to be light coming down from the ceiling, but I'm not sure how you make that happen. Bomb shoes again, maybe? Oh, I missed. <laughs> Try again, bomb shoe. You can do it. Okay, no, bomb shoes are not the answer. Hmm, what do we do here? Let's have a look around. Hmm. Don't see anything special. Hmm. Go my precious bomb shoes. Gab, bloody bomb shoes. <laughs> yes, that's how bomb shoes are. <laughs> Love them, hate them. I don't mind to just try all these until I get the right one. 
I'm guessing no. Hmm. Hmm, not sure what to do in this room. Is there a switch or something somewhere I missed? Must be something I missed somewhere. I don't know what though. Hmm. Do we need fire instead of light? Nope. I have to use sunlight to open these, so... It's something to do with up here, but I don't know how I get sunlight coming in. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... That, I, remember, I know what fight you're talking about there, the 9 volt fight in Smash Adventure. I came back to that fight later and wrecked it, but... It was really annoying when I uh, got there the first time. Yeah, I keep forgetting this whole dungeon too, Finnesota. <laughs> a burnable spider web. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's a spider web. Aha! You were right, Tag. Thank you. Now we have light. Wrong one. Roll master! Jerk. I dare you be a war master. And if you need those red rubies. <laughs> Every time it's gonna be a war master. <laughs> yeah, with the other uh, spirits in adventure mode, I highly recommend if there's one that's hard, just come back later. Because uh, you get some really good tools later on. You get really powerful spirits later on, and then you can uh, destroy them. Like Dr. Wily, have you done the Dr. Wily one? It's like, don't, don't, uh, don't bother with it if you're having trouble with it. You can come back with some, some spirits that completely trivialise that one. It's kind of fun because I went back and cleared up all those four star ones I had trouble with and then just destroyed them and it felt good because I had so much trouble with them first. Yeah, you were right, Ted. Oop. And you hit that with a light arrow. Then we're gonna do that five more times with different rooms. That was a spirit puzzle. Right, next up. Whatever's behind here. Pick up the thing. This animation takes like a year. Yeah, PKR did the Wily one. That one. I forget how she did it, because I was, I was playing Smash myself at the time, so I didn't fully see. I think she was reflecting stuff. Yeah, I, I destroyed that one last night with her, uh, because I had a metal killer spirit, and also, which makes you do tons more damage to things that were made of metal. And I had a spirit that gave me lots of health back whenever I destroyed something. That's an invisible thing. I don't like invisible things. They creep me out. Ah, you're a spider. Spider no more. Be gone, spider. Yeah, so I got tons of health back every time I KO'd one of the Mega Man. So that's, that's a good way to, to trivialize that one. I really like that mode, actually, that invention mode. It's really fun. It can get frustrating at first, though. <laughs> Open all the chests. Loads of chests in this one. If you see the bullet bag, woo! Totally gonna make use of that. That's for your slingshot ammo as a kid. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Itch in my throat. But yeah, we won't be turning into a kid again, so. Don't really care about that. Okay. <clears throat> Piece of heart. 
I wonder if we'll finish this last piece of heart in here. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good point, Finnesota. You'd think those gauntlets would make my attack stronger. Let me swing the sword faster. Oh well. Just lift, you lift, lift things that you couldn't. Oh, another ocarina usage. For reasons. Didn't really need to use that song then, did I? Biggest bomb bag. We can hold loads of bombs. Very important. Oh, this room. Yeah. I like when they give you a timer. That's that's stressful. Uh, no, wait for the rock. Let's go around this way. <laughs> Just run around with the rocks. That'll be quicker. Or easier. Go. No. Get rid of that timer, thank you. Good. Don't need that kind of stress. No magic. Oh, hey. Lots of wall masters around here. That's right, this is where they fake you out, because this is where you're, you're supposed to shoot that thing, but there's no thing. Ah! Here's the real thing. That's right, this is where you get magic. Magic? Magic! Light arrows take some magic, so... Need some magic. I think ought to be able to just punch Ganon out. Yes, that would be awesome! <laughs> Bring a sword comes mainly from the abdomen. Okay. You'd need like a magic corset. <laughs> wonder if that'll be, ever be an upgrade. <laughs> a magic corset. Also, there's a cat. I'm gonna show you a cat. Do, do, do. Hang on. Cable. Move this cable. And cat. He's pretty cute. Just sleeping, hanging out. He's having a good time. He's sleeping, that's a good time for a cat. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. Okay, fire. Fire trial. So hot in here. Yeah, I want to open my menu, thank you. Navi wouldn't let me open my menu because she had a text box. <laughs> Navi. Oh, I forgot that sinks. That's right, people use the hover boots in here because then it doesn't sink. Got a shoes. Oh, it's still sinking. There we go, now it's not sinking. Yeah, all those bags on the floor, those are hers. That's, that's her favourite thing. She, she likes bags, shopping bags. She sleeps on them. How do I grab this? Ah, okay, there's a ledge in front of it. Yeah, she sleeps on them and she plays with them as well. They're her favourite things. So those are hers now. If you ever leave a bag on the ground accidentally, they're hers. She claims it. Do, 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 do. Hi. Hello, you're kind of in the way, aren't you, aren't you? Yes, you are. Boop, boop, doo, doo. Ah, I don't want to die. I died. Do I have to get all those? Oh, I do. But. I don't know if it's, it would be easier to do that without the butter shoes, probably. You didn't seem to want. Yeah, but I think I need to jump off of that platform. More menuing. Yeah. 
This animation takes so long. <laughs> it makes me think I'm supposed to press a button or something, but no, I just... You just have to wait. No. Magic. Oh, never mind. Because it went in the lava. Alright, try this without the boots. Jumping! Link! God damn it, Link! <laughs> Ain't no Mario. <laughs> That's for sure. So that one sinks when I have the boots on, but this one doesn't. Or just an oversight. I have to go sit through this again. <laughs> this animation. Your cat loves the fuzzy blankets you put on all your chairs. Ah, You won't sit on your lap unless you have a blanket. <laughs> yeah, she likes the blankets too. Cute little thing. Do, 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 do. Oh, are you in the way? No, oh, okay. Alright, try this. What is this? Fourth time? I'm supposed to destroy the rock. Uh, I'll have to run over it to get to where I need to go because I don't think I can make it across to this platform without the. Without the. Yeah, without that rock. I don't think even the hover boot skin. Hey, there we go. Link decided to jump this time. Very good. That helps. Now I have to make it over to that fire thing over there. Boots. Draw me boots. No. Yeah, <laughs> that camera angle <laughs> nearly got me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you mind? Nope. I don't trust that skull thing at all. I think it's going to jump out and hit me. Okay, we're fine. Take off the boots. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Tag. He's afraid of heights. It makes him fall. But yeah, so he's jumping off because he's afraid of heights. He falls, it makes him realise why he's afraid of heights. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Need some more arrows, actually. Running out of arrows. Alright, that's three down. I don't try all this time. Oh yeah, we're gonna need the boots again. And we're gonna need the uh, the lens of truth. So I can see what the heck's going on. Maybe not. I need the fire arrows to get through here? Guess I need the fire arrows. So are the fire arrows normally required to beat the game? I don't think the ice arrows are. I can't think of anywhere you even have to use them. Yeah, this is very fire arrow-y. Uh, let's grab this chest. Why am I going for the chests? Because I need the chests, you know. I need them. We've got bombs. Very good. Use me, don't. Yep, yep. Okay, that's good. Very good. Very good. You are pain. I mean, magic is good, but I really want some. Um, 
Arrows. Got any arrows, like like? No, you're useless. I really wanted those. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Alright, where are we going now? Come, I, I don't think I can make it across there with my shoes, so. Let the torch again. The shoes. Do I even need the shoes here? I have to activate these things anyway. I don't think I even need the boots here. I assume I'd have to do some hovering, but uh, looks like no. I'm gonna take these damn boots off. Take off the boots. Hey, grab shoe. Right into the light, like. <laughs> I didn't eat anything this time. Can I have these arrows this time? Yay! Arrows, excellent. Now yeah, we're in business. Sort of. Switch I have to hit. Oh, this is stressful. Stressful. Nope. Jeez. <laughs> Not, not much time that you have to do that. Uh, like, like, again. Good to see you. Again. Mm. Okay, well, that, that chest is still there at least. Big chest. Oh yeah, there's some arrows. <laughs> I actually want to see that. Okay, there's a torch over here. I was wondering how I was going to be able to reach that other thing. Uh, oh, okay. I actually do need the lens of truth now. Link, god damn it! <laughs> no. <laughs> These butter boots were not made for walking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Excuse me, luck, luck. I'd like to not deal with you. Very good. But do I actually... No? Okay, I don't need to. I need to hit that switch. Uh, let's walk real slowly so it doesn't jump. Very good. Hammer. Is there something I can hook shot to? Please say there is. Yay! We did it! Light arrows. You flinch when you should have scurried. Yeah. <laughs> this was your least favourite part in this game? Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just gonna turn off the trials next time I play Rando. Then you can go straight up to Ganon without doing the trials. I've kind of. I've solved the puzzle of the seed. I just need to actually go through and clear it. This part's a bit less exciting than opening the chests and seeing what's in them for me. That's right. The water trial is all about ice for some reason. Yeah. Nah. You wanna go too? Yeah, you... Hey, where are you going? Chest. I'm invincible while I'm opening chests, apparently. Very good. Open all the chests. Because I can. Okay, now I have to go get a bottle. No, I have fairies in my bottles, though. I don't want to lose a fairy. Tough luck. 
Tough luck. Gotta use blue fire. Because blue fire is special. Boo -doo -doo -doo. I think there's only one left after this one. The forest one. I don't remember anything about that one, so we'll s Oh god, I uh, don't remember this at all. What the heck? Timer on these kind of puzzles is always not particularly fun. Okay, the door's locked, so... That's not gonna help. Where do I move this so it doesn't just go straight in a pit? Nope, don't climb up there, Link. So I assume that's it's not going to sink in the ground. Okay, it's sunk, it's sunk in the ground. Right. Hmm. I'm going to reset this one. Not sure what I'll do with this one actually. I need to get up here, I'm assuming. I also need some more blue fire, that's actually pretty annoying. I'll go get some more blue fire. Then Link caught on fire and died the end. <laughs> uh, a very exciting ending to this story. <laughs> Right now, what? 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 If I push this this way, it's going to slide right past. From the looks of it. Hmm. I'm just going to start pushing it around and see if we find anything. Oh, that's not very useful. Can't pull them backwards because ice. Reset that one. It's kind of creepy how it just grows up out of the ground like that. The only way I can see to push this is this way. Link, please. Very good to know. Hmm. So I need to get one here so I can push it over there. So how do I do that? That's the question. Okay, no, I think I need to push that. Okay, yeah, I see now. Do I have time to do it before the timer runs out, though? What happens when the timer runs out? Does the puzzle reset, or do I die, or what happens? We'll see. Sorry if I can do this part of the puzzle and then leave and come back. Blue fire. Hey Lauren. No worries. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, hopefully this is going to be our last one. So hopefully you'll be able to catch up with it all on YouTube soon. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be finishing this seed this time. Okay, uh, well I'll try resetting the puzzle. I'm curious. I want to see what happens when we run out of time. I'm going to make a save state. Not much actually happens. <laughs> okay. Do I get to keep my puzzle progress though if I leave and come back? You've been busy since uh, Smash came out. Imagine that. Yeah, I wonder wonder why that happened. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I need to get blue fire again. God damn it. Because I think that door closed, didn't it? 
Oh no, it did not close. Yay! We can just continue. Hey, ultimate. Welcome. All right, do I actually need? Oh, I can actually just run out of the door. I thought I needed a block here. Silly me. Silly me. Light arrows again. Whee! Okay, we got one trial left, I think. Forest trial. Which I don't remember anything about, so this will be fun. I'm sure this will go well. Hmm, I'm se sensing a trap. Huh? Wolfie! Dead. Do I have to use Din's fire here? Looks like it. I could use a billion uh, fire arrows. Yeah, turning off these trials, it will, it will reduce the amount of items that you need to beat the game by quite a bit. Depending on what dungeons you need to beat. Yeah. No worries. Thanks, Lauren. It's good to see you drop in. Have a good, uh, have a good night. Oh my god, more of these. Right now we actually do need a butter, butter shoes, I think. Hmm. I guess I'm going to use the butter shoes to walk out there. This is probably going to take a few falls to figure out. A few little tumbles. See how we go though. Getting some S ranks in DMC4 SE on human difficulty after some Dante practice. Nice, slowly filling out your total ranking sheet. Very good. Waiting for this fan. Okay. Ah, we missed. <laughs> yeah, good luck filling out that sheet. Some of the missions are kind of annoying, so if there's any missions you're having. Tr oh, I think I'm supposed to. Okay, I just figured out what I was supposed to do there. I think I was supposed to play the Song of Time and there's a block there that would appear. And... How do I get you? Hmm. Don't know. Can't kill this thing with fire arrows, let's try that. Fire arrows are close enough to bombs, right? Apparently not. Not good enough. Ah, there's a switch over there that might help get this one. There's too much going on in, in this room. Yeah. Now, let's see what's up with this switch. Uh, what did that do? Oh, I see. Q. Hook shot. Boop, boop, doo, doo. I guess I don't need the butter shoes here at all, hey? They help for stuff like that, though. Okay, I'm taking the shoes off because I don't trust them for this spot. <laughs> Grab that. Oh, oh, cutscene. Oh, no. Okay. Nice. Magic. Thinking you. That wasn't very much magic. Oh, well. It'll have to do. Last one.
And then off we go. <laughs> that was a weird noise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. S-ranking human difficulty is really weird. I mean, it means die too fast. It's harder to get style. Yeah, I did. Some missions were really tough on human difficulty death rank. I think sometimes you really just have to go farm some groups of enemies over and over. All right, we're climbing the tower towards Ganon. Bats, bats. Oh, I'd like to not mess with you, please. You don't mess with me. I don't mess with you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My weakness jumping over me. <laughs> There's a YouTuber named Jordy May Cry who recently uploaded some Devil Breaker breakaway combos. Ew. Nice, oh, so I can't wait to try out that move to see what kind of stuff I can do. Sounds pretty uh, pretty versatile though, so that's cool. Climbing the ominous stairs. Doom. What are you laughing at? I'm gonna stab you in the knee. You think that's funny? You too, buddy. You could just leave, but no. I have to stab you in the knee. Final chest of the game. Arrows. I mean, there are some I didn't check because I didn't need you anymore. But that's the last chest we're going to be opening. Till they release uh, that demo for PS4. I prefer it on PC, of course, but uh, it'll do on P PC, uh, PS4. <laughs> I love that trick. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> the big key. I'd love to have suddenly realised that I didn't have the big key, but no, we got the big key. We got that earlier. What's some magic. Don't need more arrows. I'll make sure I have four magic. Yeah, magic. Delicious. Wait. There we go. That is a door. I love how you have this music playing in the background. Then you get to the top and, and you find out that Ganondorf was the one playing this music. It's really cool. I don't know if you get to see that since they removed the cutscenes, that's why I pointed it out now. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of missed that part of it. <laughs> yeah, so they changed his dialogue. And then he tells you where the, uh, he gives you a hint where the light arrows are. Because you need the light arrows to beat him in this one. It's not like in Link to the Past where you could beat Ganon without the silver arrows, you need the light arrows here. Okay, he uh, instead he told me something else. I'm sorry, help. Or what help are you? I thought he told you where the light arrows are. I'm not sure what to, he was talking about then. Now we're going to play Reflect. Which will take me a bunch of tries. <laughs> That's right, you can't target him because Navi can't get close to him. Disabling your targeting. That's a thing sometimes. It's 
This camera angle is not the best for this. Can't really see how close it is, so I'm just kind of guessing. Okay. Get him with light arrows. Stab. Stab. Hey. Need to stab you some more. Excuse me, you need your stabbing. We weren't able to finish your stabbing. Deb, 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 deb. A little bit more stabbing. That should do the trick. Sometimes that just keeps going on for a while. I think it's just random how long you need to reflect it for. I've seen people just go for like a minute of just pure reflecting back and forth. Yay! We beat Ganondorf! He's talking about the generic arrows, so is he just he might just be talking about what was in the big chest then. Yes, that was Ganondorf. And then there's this whole sequence where we had to escape a collapsing tower with Zelda, but I turned that off because I've played that a bunch of times. You're just walking through a collapsing tower, it's not too exciting. And you go straight to the final boss. Now Ganondorf turns into Ganon using the power of the Triforce. Yeah, so he's Ganondorf when he's human and Ganon when he turns into Big Pig. Master Sword! Oh, I don't really remember how to fight this thing, so we're just gonna play around. Do I have the bigger on sword equipped? I don't. Can I not use the bigger on sword here? I want to use the bigger on sword, thank you very much. I have a cool sword. I'm going to use it. Yeah. I've seen people just kind of walk back and forth under his legs and then he just gets trapped in a loop. <laughs> Having trouble doing that though. Relax though, I've got several fairies, I'll be fine. Gotta take his tail. Out. I'm gonna figure out this strategy. Go under, then you go back. Hit the tail. I have to hit him a bunch of times. Hit the tail. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, so you roll under, then you roll back. Alright, that's not too bad. The Master Sword. Now we have to go pick up the Master Sword. So the Bigger on Sword does more damage than the Master Sword. I think on everything except Ganon, the Master Sword actually does more damage to him. Because you're meant to use it because it's the Blade of Evil's Bane. I forget what I do now, do I just do the same thing? Oh. <laughs> Spinning around in circles. Just chill out, Zelda. Seriously. <laughs> you can't really see much when you're doing this strategy. <laughs> Seeing is uh, kind of an issue. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Fairy. Hmm, that sounds cool. I want to, uh, really want to try that demo. Seems fun. 
That boss fight sounds good in DMC5. Alright, got a decent camera angle now. Let's see what I'm doing. Yay! We did it. Deliver the final blow. Stab him in the face. Stab. Hey, we did it. Nice. We finished the seed finally. <laughs> And the six sages help lock him away. Because he never actually kill again and he just keeps coming back. watch the ending. I don't know if they changed the ending at all in the randomizer. I don't think they did. Yeah, violence from Link. <laughs> Vicious. You. Curse you Zelda. Curse you sages. Curse you help. <laughs> I think I picked a good name for this file. <laughs> Kenendorf is a pleasant man. And he's locked away. Until the next game. He came in so late, this ended up looking like a regular 100% run with no randomization. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how randomizer runs are when you get near the end. When you solve the puzzle of the, uh, the seed, you're just kind of going through the motions to finish them. I think that's why people turn off the Ganon trials, because then, because by then it's not as exciting, you just want to go finish the game. So you can start a new seed. Peaceful once again reign in this world. For a time. Do 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 do. It was a 100% rando run. <laughs> Close. We didn't quite finish up our last heart container. But it was close. When peace returns to Hyrule, it'll be time for us to say goodbye. Go home, help. So what was actually left to check? So there was the frog game. Now that I have all the songs, so that's one. There was that heart piece on top of that volcano. Where was the, the Song of Fire? I never got that. I assume that might be in these other spots. And then there's four Deku scrubs that were in Gan Ganon's castle that I never checked. I kind of forgot they were there, but they're on my tracker. So there were six item locations left in total in this seed. That's probably where the last heart pieces were. <laughs> and the, the last song that we didn't have. That's 
towards the ending. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that the Goliath boss fight in the DMC5 demo is really good. That's cool. I hope. Uh, yeah, I hope we have some great boss fights in five. Which Zelda are you most familiar with? Um, probably Link to the Past, because because I've played that randomized a bunch of times now, and I watched tons of randomizer races of it. Yeah, yeah, I'd say Link to the Past. This is my first time doing Ocarina of Time randomizer. It was a lot of fun though. It took a long time, but it was a lot of fun. I had, I really enjoyed it. It's a great fresh way to revisit a game. That's right, there are also the 40 Skullshler and 50 Skullshler rewards. I had those turned off in the randomizer, but I think they might have, I think there's a chance they can be heart pieces. Because when you turn them off in the randomizer, that means that nothing important will be on there, but heart pieces aren't really considered important, so they might end up being those on there. Same with fishing. I turned off fishing so I didn't have to do that. But there might have been heart pieces there too. So there's there's a handful of spots still left in the sea. Nearly 100 percent of it though. <laughs> didn't mean to. But we did. <laughs> we came close. Yeah, that was a fun experience though. I already started another sea just on my own time while I listened to podcasts, so I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, randomizers are a fun podcast thing where you're watching something on the other monitor or listening to something and you're just kind of going through the motions of checking things and figuring out where to go next. That's fun. That's right, Link can't ride Epona when he's young, but then he can endure his masks. So I guess he was, uh, I guess this adventure matured him a bit and he was able to ride with Epona back in his own time. Was the fishing minigame glitched? I heard it was glitched on certain emulators, but I don't think it's glitched on this one. I just turned it off my first seed just in case, but uh, in my other playthrough I, I did some fishing and that worked just fine, so I can leave it on for in the future. And they're all having a party that Ganondorf's gone. Imagine being such a horrible person that people have a party when when someone gets rid of you. <laughs> yeah, the Deku spread is cute. I like that. She's juggling chickens. <laughs> it's good credits music. So yeah, it turns out we were pretty close to the end. And an hour and 20 minutes, that's close to the end. All these characters that you probably don't know if you haven't played this game because <laughs> the randomizer just kind of skips over that stuff. If you're interested in this randomizer though, I do recommend playing this game. Just kind of get a feel for who the characters are and where things are and what items do. Then you can play the randomizer and it's really fun. Yeah, they're, they're the sages. They each turned out to be sages. And they're off doing sage things, I don't know. I don't know where they hang out now, that they're sages.
So Link gets his uh, missing years back. That's nice. Gets to go back being his uh, normal age. Use the Master Sword for the next game. Where the Master Sword actually is kind of changes from Zelda to Zelda, doesn't it? Sometimes it's in the Lost Woods, sometimes it's in the Temple of Time. It kind of moves around. I think it's meant to be the same sword each time, but uh, yeah. That's a cool shot too. The Master Sword sitting in the pedestal. Yeah, <laughs> he go goes back to his own time because adulting sucks. <laughs> it does. <laughs> To, oh, that Bowser and Luigi posters in the background, that's cute. And goes to meet his friend Zelda. Now, I assume they come up with a better plan to get rid of Ganondorf before he takes over in this time. Yeah, and then he goes off to Majora's Mask. My second favourite Zelda game. <laughs> the end. There you go, that was quite fun. I enjoyed that run. Yeah, I will play some more rando runs of this. I don't know if I'll stream them because this this is quite an ordeal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was. I'm glad I uh, streamed my first run of it. That was quite good. And it's one of those games that sticks on the the end picture forever. Oh, there we go. It was kind of early to end the stream, doesn't it? I guess I could go play some Smash. Should I go play some Smash? What do you all reckon? Whatever I do, I need to go change my uh, stream title. Yeah, if anyone wants a good uh, wants a good tracker for this, I use Emo Tracker. It's a, a program you actually download, and then it's got all these different packages you can activate for like different games. It's got uh, it's got Link to the Past trackers. It's got Super Metroid trackers. All kinds of trackers. I'm using some. I'm using the OOT tracker from Hamster. That's the one I was using. Plays a Zelda character in Classic so we can fight Ganon again. That's a cool idea actually, Rose. I like that. <laughs> we'll do that. Alright, we'll swap back to this one. Close the emulator. And I'll up update the stream title. So for all those watching on the archive on YouTube, I'm, I'm going to end this video and we're going to start a new video for Smash. So I'll see you over there if you want to watch it.